What's up squad, my name is Yeso and welcome back to the channel. In today's daily Skyrim video, I thought I would show you guys another, yes that's right, another 5 unique enchanted weapons and enchanted armors in Skyrim. If you missed the previous video, make sure you go and check it out down below in the description. But if you guys want me to show you another 5 hidden unique items, make sure you give this video a like, because if this video does get enough likes, I'll know you guys want to see more. You can get any of the weapons I'm going to show you in this video at any level though. So let's start off with number 5. To acquire this first unique item, we must proceed over to Winterhold in the far north of the map, near the Sea of Ghosts. Once you do arrive at Winterhold, we're going to want to head over to Brimer's house. It's the one with two floors and the balcony, just here. And then we're going to go inside and just talk to Brina. I'll sell just about anything. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. Firstly, we're going to ask her if many people come by the shop. Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. You said something about a bad deal. What's the story? Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I could look into it. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold, and then it's your problem. I'll take that claw for 50 gold, you damn peasant. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing, it's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? I. Now you've pretty much just committed daylight robbery, so we're going to head over to Yingo Barrow which is located just here on the map. It's northeast from Windhelm. But basically the claw that we just brought for only 50 gold will open up a Nordic tomb within the barrow here. So just head on inside this cave. And guys, if you want a full walkthrough of this location, which shows you all the treasure chests, make sure that you check out the link in the description below. But the only thing that you're really going to have difficulty with is the first puzzle. You can find the answer to this puzzle on this corpse of this uh, dead guy over here in the middle of the room. So if you read the book, it's basically based on a poem, and this is literally my favourite puzzle in Skyrim. So the poem, I'm not going to read it to you, but the poem mentions the whale in the sea. So if we turn this stone in the water to the whale symbol, then it symbolises that. And then next up, if you turn around guys, and you turn this one to the snake, it represents a snake in the grass. And then lastly, on the right hand side here, we can see a ray of light shining on this stone, and the poem mentions an eagle in the sky. So obviously we're going to turn it to the eagle, and then you can just pull the lever in the middle of the room to open the next door. So if you just carry on through the dungeon, you'll soon reach the entrance to Yingol's tomb. So take a look at the coral dragon claw that we brought for 50 gold, and it actually has the solution inscribed onto it. So basically all you need to do guys is turn the top two circles once, and then the bottom one twice, and that will open the door for us. That's why we needed the key though, otherwise you wouldn't be able to open this door. So once you're within, you're going to find Yingol's final resting place, and we'll also find the spirit of Yingol himself, a very powerful Death Lord boss. You don't actually have to kill him though, but I do suggest you do kill him, because he actually has a random chance 
to give you an ebony weapon at a very low level. After he is defeated though, you can get his unique helm of Yingol from his skeleton resting on the throne here. Also guys, don't forget to loot the treasure chest just behind it. And you can just come out of this door behind you as well. There's a spiral stair which will lead you for a shortcut to the exit. So the helm of Yingo increases your frost resistance by 30% a very useful resistance to have when you're in Skyrim, as most of the enemies do frost damage to you. You can also pair this helmet with the Ancient Nordic Armor in order to get the full set bonus, which gives you additional armor rating. You can also find the location of a full set of Ancient Nordic Armor down below in the description, guys. But for our next unique item, up at number four, we will be getting the Ancient Helmet of the Unburned, a helm with 40% fire resistance. So wearing this, you will take much, much less damage from dragon fire. We will also be getting an enchanted weapon and also potentially an ebony shield as well. So to actually acquire all this stuff and the unique armor piece, you need to come here to Labyrinthian, located just here on the map. But to gain access to the dungeon itself, guys, you must have got quite far in the Mages Guild quest line. Specifically, during the quest called a Staff of Magnus, you will be able to open this door. The dungeon is so huge, it's kind of ridiculous. But the best way to show you where to actually come to get this unique item, and you will not miss this area guys, it's the room with the word wall, with the throne in it. And it's just before the final boss battle. And if you missed it, you can just come back here and go and get it. So once you are here guys, retrace your steps through the door, up the stairs, and then just turn right and you will actually see the unique Helm of the Unburned sitting on top of an enchanted greatsword. Mine's actually fallen onto the floor though. But unpick this leveled lock and you'll be able to grab this unique Helm for yourself. The sword here that the Helm is meant to be resting on is enchanted with a powerful fire enchantment. So you can either use it or disenchant it to learn the fire enchantment for yourself. And also guys, you can get the ebony shield here as well. So let's have a look at the ancient helm of the unburned, because it is quite easy to miss this item. You can't even tell the helm is even unique until you open the door and go right up to it. So the 40% resistance to fire is pretty boss. You can actually disenchant this one though guys, even though it's meant to be unique. And as you can see, the horns on this helm are different to the last one, with an almost ram-like appearance. But it still gets that set bonus from the ancient Nordic armor as well guys. So next on this list, at number 3, we will be getting a unique weapon. So to find this guys, you must come here on the map to Grey Winter Watch, northeast from Whiterun. Once you do arrive at this location, appreciate the view and then head on inside the cave. The cavern itself is pretty tiny and it's just home to a couple of low level trolls. You don't even need to kill these, you can in fact just come here at a very low level and just run inside, grab the weapon and run away again. So you can actually find Frokai's unique bow here just on the barrel. You'll also find a archery skill book right next to it. So make sure you read that as well if you're interested in leveling up your archery skill. Frokai's bow has an enchantment that will do 5 points of stamina damage to your enemies. It's quite useful at low levels for stopping those pesky two-handed bandit power attacks. But it's more of a collectible I would say. If you do want to use it, I suggest just giving it to your follower because they can still apply that effect and it won't use up the enchantment. Next up on the list guys, we have number 2, the next piece of unique armour on our list, which can be found just here in Movarth's lair, just northeast from Morthan, here on the map. And also guys, make sure you bring some cure disease potions with you because this is in fact a vampire lair. Once inside guys, just hop down and assassinate the two frostbite spiders. Then carry on through the dungeon and take a left at the vampire who's sitting at the table. Head straight on through the next room. Just ahead of you, you'll see a wooden construct. You can walk up this and carry on round to the left and just follow it around to the next part of the cave. 
Once again guys, do take care of the vampires because there are quite a few here. After you've killed them, you'll find a skill book of illusion just on the nightstand here. And you will find the unique Morvath's boots just next to that. These boots will increase your sneak skill by 15%. So it's very beneficial even at higher levels. These are the only boots in the game with this enchantment that you can actually get at level 1 very early on. You can also pair it with the Shrouded Hood to become the ultimate sneak thief and become pretty much almost invisible as you level up your sneak skill. I've got a very fast sneak leveling guide down below in the description if you are interested in that. And now guys we have the last unique item on the list. Number 1. This is located in the middle of the wilderness and it's also rather difficult to find as it's not marked on your map. The best place to come that's close to it is just here at Cradlestone Tower. Once you do arrive at Cradlestone Tower, you're going to want to head down this rocky cliff face here. And guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon next to it. That will mean you get notified whenever I release a new daily video guide. Once you get to this location, you will find these two trolls fighting over a dead Nord's corpse. Just in this small cave here. And if you loot the Nord's body, you'll find a unique two-handed weapon, the Troll's Bane. Troll's Bane is a steel warhammer that does 15 points of fire damage to trolls. But as trolls are in fact weak to fire anyway, it will actually do double that at 30 damage to them and also the base damage of the weapon on top of that and it will also set them on fire for additional damage over time so it is definitely one of the best weapons in the game for killing trolls and guys if you want to see another top five unique items list in skyrim please make sure you hit that like button and i'll definitely make you some more but you can check out the latest top 5 video down below in the description if you did miss it. You can also like me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get updates on when I'll be streaming and when my latest videos come out. So make sure you don't miss out on that guys. But thanks again for watching me ESO and I will see you loyal subscriber in the next Skyrim daily video guide. Have a fantastic day guys and have a fantastic Christmas. I'll see you in the next video.